Narcissists are very selfish people. They view others as objects to be used rather than as individuals who also have their own feelings and needs. And this is why narcissists do not see others as individuals who matter, but rather as a means to an end. Therefore, they use people to gain power, status, or validation, and they are willing to hurt or manipulate others to get what they want. However, it is worth noting that the narcissist may also have a small circle of people, such as family members or close friend, whom they consider valuable and may treat differently. Narcissists are the type of people to have a favorite person, a favorite child, a favorite uncle or niece or whatever have you. This is not uncommon, but it does not mean that the narcissist cares about these people. So even though the narcissist may invest more time and energy in keeping them close, these people are not really valued for who they are, but for how they can serve the narcissist's needs. For those looking on, it can seem as though some people do matter to the narcissist, but the narcissist is playing the game of favoritism, and I'm going to be looking at how this plays out in different types of relationships with narcissists. But first, I just want to quickly welcome everyone to my channel and give a shout out to my latest channel member, Dina or Dinah. Thank you very much for deciding to support my work. So today I want to look at how narcissists use favoritism to their advantage. To keep it simple, it is just another manipulation technique to get people to do what they want. Narcissists prioritize people based on the amount of narcissistic supply they can get from these people. That is why wherever a narcissist is, cliques will form, and these are not good cliques. The type of clique a narcissist creates is like a little gang of individuals who think they are superior to others. This can happen in the workplace, schools, churches, family units, and more. For example, in a narcissistic household where one or both of the parents are narcissists, you will find that the children are treated differently. There tends to be the narcissist's favorite who is referred to as the golden child, and any other children will either fall into the category of scapegoat, which is the child the narcissist dislikes the most, or the invisible child who is more of a tag-along and is greatly ignored. If it is just one child and one parent that is the narcissist, that child will be the narcissist's golden child, and together they will make the other parent's life a living hell. Narcissists are bullies, and if they can recruit others to join them in their attack on an individual, they will. The narcissist's favorite child will also be given all the attention and validation they need, but it is not without a price. In exchange, the narcissist is expecting their lifelong allegiance. In the workplace, narcissists are quick to seek out those who can give them a career boost. So they have no issues sucking up to management in order to get a promotion or be able to influence this person's treatment of others. The same can happen in any social organization. Narcissists are strategic with who they rub shoulders with, and they have no issues using flattery and making someone feel special in order to gain the upper hand. Narcissists will tell you that you are their favorite person, and they would shower you with compliments hoping you give them everything they want in return. Because at the end of the day, you are only the narcissist's favorite person when you have something they want. It can be information, money, sex, status, or connections. Whatever it is, the narcissist is willing to say and do whatever it takes to convince you that you matter to them. 
but no one as an individual matters to the narcissist. All they care about is what they can get from you. So when you see a narcissist who treats certain individuals well, you can be sure that they supply something that the narcissist wants. But at the same time, the narcissist will still speak badly about these same people behind their backs because they secretly detest these people and hate the fact that they have to suck up to them. But if it gets them what they want or where they want, they will continue to do it with a smile on their face. Unfortunately, when the narcissist is done with them or simply no longer has use of them, the preferential treatment will end and they will now be ignored by the narcissist. If it is a family member that the narcissist has as their favorite person, it is possible that they will have to keep up the act a lot longer. Narcissists tend to want to keep certain family ties going strong, usually for the sake of their image or reputation, but it is all very fake and there is no love or emotional bond. But to conclude, it is important to remember that although the narcissist may keep someone close, they do not value them as a person, but rather as a tool to meet their own needs. Everything the narcissist does is strategic and for their own benefit. Okay, that is it for today. I hope this video was useful in some way. Have a blessed week, everyone, and many thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.